everyone, welcome to Icon UK. I'm Jess from Sunbeams Jess and today I'm going to be doing a look for you inspired by Rita Ora. She wore it on the X Factor judging panel, but I think the bright eyes and bold lip would be great for a night out. So stay tuned to see how I create it. To start off, I'm going to create a flawless base with the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This foundation has great coverage, which is light to medium, it's really buildable. And I am in the shade N4. You really want a flawless base for this look because the eyes and lips are so bold. And you always have to remember to bring it down your neck and make sure it's properly blended out. As always, I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer just where I need it the most. I'm just going to apply that under the eyes to cover up any dark circles. So I also just use it to cover up any blemishes as well, so we're getting a really flawless look. To set the foundation and concealer, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Sheer Pressed Powder. And this one's actually in pale yellow. Now, pale yellow powders can really help brighten up your complexion and also counteract any redness in your skin. I'm going to make sure I go under eye as well, just to get that concealer set. Starting on the eyes now, and I'm going to be using this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. Now, this is obviously not something you might usually choose, but it makes for a really bold eye look. So I'm just going to be creating a wing shape, but I'm going to layer it on quite thick because I'm then going to go over with a black eyeliner afterwards. So you still want to be able to see the white. To define the eye a little bit, I'm going to be using the Soap & Glory Super Cat Eyeliner, and this is just a black liquid liner. Now I've gone in with the black eyeliner, I think I want to top up the white a little bit more and make it stand out a bit more. To complete the eye look, I'm going to be using this L'Oreal Paris False Lash Flutter Mascara. With such a strong eye look, you definitely need defined brows. So I'm going to use the Body Shop Brown Liner Kit. So I'm using the brown colour. Rita herself, even though she has blonde hair, has really strong, dark brows. So you can definitely go all out with this brow look. So because this is a nighttime look, I'm going to contour and highlight. I'm using this Maybelline Master Sculpt, and this has got both products in one. So first of all, I'm going for the contour colour, starting off light and getting heavier. You can't take product away, so it's a good idea to just build it slowly. I'm just applying this underneath my cheekbones and blending upwards so you don't drag it down your face too much. Now going in with the highlighter, I'm going to use a little eyeshadow brush for this just so I can place it exactly where I want it. So first is going on the tops of the cheekbones and I'm bringing it slightly onto my cheek as well. So this highlight is quite subtle which is good. Again, you can build it a little bit and you want it to stay quite subtle with such a strong eye and lip look as well. I'm also going to take it down my nose and on my cupid's bow. So now finally moving on to lips, I have Max Red Lip Pencil here. So when you're wearing such a bold lip colour, I think it's really important to line your lips. It helps the staying power of the colour and it stops the lipstick from bleeding. I always fill in my whole lip with my lip pencil just because I think it adds a little bit more intensity to the colour. To complete the look, I'm going to be using Urban Decay Lipstick in Bang. This is a really fun, bright red. So that's the finished look. I hope you guys like it. If you have any celebrity makeup looks you'd like us to cover here on Icon UK, then let us know in the comments below. Click here for my Rita Ora lookbook and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.